हेलो हाउ आर यू आई एम अंडर द वॉटर प्लीज हेल्प मी यूर टू मच रेनिंग एंड नो आई एम नॉट अ सीआलॉजिस्ट ओनली क्वेश्चन आई हैव वाज व्हाई वाज इट द सबमरीन टेदर मीनिंग हैविंग अ केबल अटैच्ड टू द रियर ऑफ इट ऑल द वे टू द टॉप माय बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन अबाउट ऑल दिस इज दीस वर फाइव बिलियनर्स बट दे वर रियली रैंडम पीपल बट व्हाट इफ एंड दिस इज अ बिग व्हाट इफ What if LeBron James was down there? Another night, another late night conspiracy theory with your boy Matt. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of shocked last night's video did as well as it did. I mean, I always expect my videos to do well, but I just didn't think as many of you were going to care about the Titanic submarine situation as y'all did, but I'm glad y'all are intrigued by it because I'm intrigued by it as well. I just thought it was really cool that we're mainly a sports channel, but still, although most of us we like sports, we also like some of these conspiracy theories and other things going on. If you haven't seen last night's video, feel free to check it out. I gave you guys not one but two of my conspiracy theories on this situation, and I was reading some of the comments on that video, and I was like, man, oh man. We got to talk about this situation again and we're going to do that in tonight's video because there's a ton of stuff we got to go over. You guys always seem to like it when your boy Matt comes up with these crazy conspiracy theories and we talk about it. And I'm not saying this is going to be some conspiracy theory type of channel moving on from this point. But if we talk about it here and there moving forward, don't be surprised. And I think a great point is we talked about some conspiracy theory and just being awake to the higher ups and the government months ago. And somebody commented, and this was a great point. Yo, Matt, just because you're aware of what's going on, that doesn't mean you're a conspiracy theorist. And that's a great point. I agree with that wholeheartedly because the older you get, the more mature you get, and the more you start to become aware of all the bullcrap that's going on in this world. No, that doesn't mean you're quote unquote woke. It just means you're aware. Before we even get into things, I also want to state this on so last night's video and always when we talk about these conspiracy theories, I say, "Hey guys, got to be careful because if I say too much, the higher ups, the government, whoever, they're going to come after me and shut me down." But then late last night after I posted that video, I got to thinking, the higher ups actually won't come after me because now that I've made this clear and I put this out to the public and you guys know that I've said, "Hey, they might come after me." They won't because that'd be easy to pick up on you see what i'm saying it looked a little odd and fishy to the rest of the country if i'm making these conspiracy theory videos and saying hey guys it might come after me and i'm gone within the next week or two for example if i quit posting videos for the next two weeks oh it'd be the most obvious thing in the world everybody be like yep he called it and the higher ups got him they're definitely a real thing i know what you're sitting there saying yo man this doesn't matter it's a big deal and i beg to differ it is a big deal because the ball is now in our court we can say whatever we want and do what we want well not really but to a certain extent because i've made it clear if i go missing they come after me Anyways, that's besides the point. Matt, get back on track. Sorry. And let me give out some context before we go even farther. I meant to say this in last night's video. I think I've said this before on the channel, but I'm going to say it again because I can't remember. When I was growing up, when I was like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in high school and, you know, teenage years, I was the last person to tell you, "Oh yeah, aliens. No, they can't exist." I didn't believe in none of that. I was the last person to ever believe in conspiracy theories or anything like that. I always shut them down. I wouldn't even have the argument. But as I continue to get older and I notice just all the tomfoolery and bull crap, like I stated already, that is going on in the United States and just in the world, Yeah, I'll have the debate now. I'm not saying I agree with all these conspiracy theories going on, but the thing is, Matt be great 5 years ago, I wouldn't even have the conversation. Now I will cuz I'm open-minded. For example, if you didn't watch last night's video, my conspiracy theory on the Titanic submarine was this right here. Those five people, those five billionaires, they didn't actually go down there on that submarine. This is a plot by them saying they went down there so they can quote unquote and then move somewhere else in some other part of the country and live a tax-free life because remember they're billionaires. Taxes are eating their pockets up. So if they could live some new lifestyle under some new name, yeah, that'd make a lot of sense. I didn't come up with that theory. That's just what we talked about. My conspiracy theory that I came up with myself is the government and the higher-ups planned this accordingly right when sports end. I know there's still college baseball going on by the way. Did y'all watch that LSU Wake Forest game? That game was amazing. Just got done watching it. There's some baseball and golf going on. But who cares? There's going to be a couple people in the comment section saying they like baseball and they like golf and that's cool. I enjoy watching baseball every now and then and sometimes I can watch some golf. But for the vast majority, everyone in the United States, everyone around the country, they like basketball and football. And that's where my theory comes into play because for the next 70 days, 
there's none of that, so they had to do something to keep us distracted because that's what sports are. They distract us. I don't want to dive into that too much because we already talked about it. But with that being said, are those the two most likely options of what actually happened? No. If you want me to give you the boring answer, more than likely it imploded. But that's boring! I know I'm all over the place and we're not doing any intro, by the way. We're just getting straight into it. Within the past 24 hours, this whole Titanic submarine situation has gotten really, and I mean really weird. So last night after I uploaded my video, you know what I got tagged in on Twitter? I think I had like two or three people send this to me. The Simpsons, where they predicted this. I'm going to show you the pictures right here. This is the episode of The Simpsons where they're going down and looking at the wreckage of the Titanic. And look at this right here. Oxygen low. <laughs> Oh man, you can't make this up. I don't really have too much to say about that. Just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought that was fascinating because this isn't a coincidence. This isn't the first time the Simpsons have predicted something. They do this every single year. There's always some major event where the Simpsons predicted it like 15 years ago. I got a lot of stuff I want to get into tonight, so hope you guys just bear with me and hear me out. And I want to hear your guys' opinions down below. If you guys like this, we may talk about this tomorrow night. That's only if you guys want to see more. Let me know in the comment section. But the first thing I have, it's really a question ask you guys is this right here my biggest question about all of this is these were five billionaires but they were really random people but what if and this is a big what if what if lebron james was down there what if in that submarine it was either a michael jordan or b lebron james do you think the search efforts would have been enhanced a little bit i'm not saying they weren't trying i got much respect to the coast guards the navy everybody involved much respect i know they were working hard they were doing everything they can in the risk it's just it's too high to even go try to retrieve them but my question is do you think they would have done a little bit more or even a lot a bit more if it was lebron james down there and before when you nerd run to the comment section and go well matt lebron wouldn't have went down there because he's not that dumb he don't like the ocean blah 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 dude shut up it's just a question it's just me theoretically speaking i just thought about that because i honestly believe maybe the coast guard and all those people they wouldn't have done more but here's what i do know i guarantee you there have been some psycho psychotic lebron fans going out there themselves trying to find them i truly and solely believe if michael jordan or lebron james was in that submarine the efforts would have been enhanced double, if not triple, if not 10 times. I just believe that. Now, that really has nothing to do with our situation, but I just wanted to speak on it. Now, here's something else I want to speak on. I think Rick Ross posted this on Instagram. And hold on, let me actually try to find the video clip. Hold on. And no, I'm not a sciologist. Only question I had was why wasn't the submarine tethered? Meaning having a cable attached to the rear of it all the way to the top above water so once you lose communication you can hit a button and it pull it all the way back to the top as you heard and saw right there rick ross stated why didn't they tie the submarine or have it attached to a cable and it doesn't even have to be a cable it could have been a rope and i already know somebody's gonna run to the comments and say well oh, nobody has a rope that long and of course they don't but you could have made one that long before I was recording this video, I was trying to think of a reason as to why that wouldn't work. Maybe there's a reason why it wouldn't, but I can't think of one. I get it. It's not convenient to have a two and a half mile rope or however deep it is, three miles, but it would have worked. I did want to share that because I thought it was rather fascinating. But also today, all everybody's been talking about is how the news came out that reportedly, <laughs> I can't even believe this, the implosion was heard days ago by a quote-unquote top-secret U.S. Navy detection system. Yet again, goes back to this, shady stuff going on. You want to try to tell me there's not higher-ups and people with the dark suit and black glasses, but yet there's a top-secret U.S. Navy detection system? Come on, man. Me personally, you know what I think this quote-unquote implosion was nothing it was probably something in the sea or the ocean and it's the same thing with the banging noises they heard every 30 minutes i also believe that was some natural causes from the ocean the fact that people actually genuinely thought they were banging on that submarine in 30 minute increments blew my mind there's not a single chance in the world you could have heard somebody in that submarine knocking I don't care how hard they were knocking, you wouldn't have heard them. Now, with all that being said, and I know I'm all over the place, but that's just how this video is, I saw an overwhelming and a alarming amount of people comment on the previous video that they don't even know about the Titanic conspiracy theory that I brought up for like 15 seconds. As to how y'all don't know this, it just goes to show me that a lot of people, they don't know what's really going on in this world. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but once I tell you this, it's gonna... 
Raise your eyebrows. I'm not saying you gotta believe it, but I'll just share this with y'all real briefly. The Titanic conspiracy is only about 45 seconds long, so let me break this down to you. You know I like to dumb things down. We talked about last night where I told you guys, hey, the Titanic was a hit job, and I kind of just moved on from that point. I didn't really explain anything. And a lot of people in the comments are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Matt. What are you talking about the Titanic was a hit job? What's going on with that? And I was shocked to see those comments because... I thought everybody knew about this conspiracy theory. I thought this was common knowledge. I believe this is what happened. Matter of fact, it's not even a conspiracy theory. I'm telling you, this is what happened. At the time in 1912, the richest man in America went by the name of Mr. Astor. He was so rich, he owned 40% of the mortgages in the United States. Nowadays, when you want a mortgage for your house or you want a loan, where do you go? The bank. There's multiple different banks, but the point is you go to a bank. Well, back then, you didn't go to a bank, you went to this dude. He owned dang near 50% of the houses. Mr. Astor, in other terms, was the bank. And guess what his next plan to do was? He was gonna create his own central bank. This was bad news for all the Rothschilds because they didn't want all this to happen. If you don't know who the Rothschilds are, it's basically a rich family that were kind of competing with him. So the Rothschilds family, they're like, okay, how can we beat this guy? We don't want to sacrifice our wealth or ounce. I mean, he's going to take over if we don't stop him or somebody stops him. So then boom, Titanic happens and all the richest people in the world, they're supposed to get on this shit because it's luxurious and all that nice stuff. Well, reportedly, I wasn't there, so I can't confirm this, but the Rothschilds, they got on the Titanic and right before it left, they got off. Do what you want with that information. The other guy, Mr. Astor, he got on and yeah, RIP. He passes away and that's the end to it and the Rothschilds just completely take over. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I just remember all this off the top of my head. Don't ask me why I know so much information about this. Just done a lot of research over my many years. The Rothschilds in the next year, 1913, created the Federal Reserve. Mr. Astor, and I know a lot of you aren't going to know his first name, he went by the name of John Jacob Astor, was a part of the biggest hit job in the history of the world, and nobody even talks about it. And whoa, 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 hold up, Timothy and Bobby, before we run to the comment section. I already know, hold on, I can smell what you're about to say. Matt, come on, really? They built this billion dollar or multi million dollar ship, went through all this pain just to do a hit job on one guy? Come on now, don't you think that's far fetched? And no, I don't. This wasn't just one guy. He was the richest guy in the world. John Jacob Astor controlled 40% of the mortgages in the country. No, he's not just a guy. He is the guy. Back then, he was Hemothy Neutron. I don't think some people quite understand how much these higher-ups in the government will do to retain money and power. They will do some dangerous, and I mean some dangerous things. When it comes to the higher-ups, you're not going to mess with their money and power. It's not going to happen. You can do a lot of things in this life, but you can't do that. Your history lesson with Matt is now over, and I know what some people are going to be saying. Well, Matt, how does this correlate with the Titanic submarine? And, well, that story doesn't, but a lot of people wanted me to share that, so there you go. Maybe you learned something today. Hopefully y'all did, because I always want y'all not only to be entertained by me being crazy at times, but also want y'all to learn some stuff. Last but not least, before we end out this video, I've also seen a lot of people claim, and this is their conspiracy theory, that a Megalodon, or the Megalodon shark, the biggest shark of all time, it ate the submarine. I don't buy that one. Don't see it happening whatsoever. I'm sticking with my original conspiracy theory. This is something planned by the government and the higher ups just to distract us in the off season of sports. We don't have entertainment. And when we don't have entertainment, we talk. And when we talk and we start thinking, it ain't good for the government and it ain't good for the higher ups. And when I say higher ups, I guess I need to clarify on that because we have new people coming to the channel and they think I'm crazy. The higher-ups are the people that control the government. And people think it's like a joke. Like, aha, you know, Matt's crazy. You know, he's talking about the higher-ups. Good one. No, I'm not joking. These are real people. It's the people in the black suits and glasses that nobody knows the name of, and they just show up. I call them the higher-ups. And if you think I'm wrong, let me offer you this. The president is supposed to be the highest of highs for America, right? That's the highest you can be. Well, guess what? When the president wants to implement something, it can be minor. If he wants to change anything about America, he has to run it by the higher-ups. And if they nod their head yes, he then gets to send it to the people who vote on it. But if they say no, it doesn't even make it past them. Donald Trump even talked about this. There were people that were telling him, no, he couldn't do certain things. And it's why I'm not into politics, because being the president is useless. The president doesn't make any decisions. The higher-ups make all the decisions, and they see all this nonsense and crazy crap going on with everybody hating on our current president, Joe Biden. They see all the 
the crap going on in the political world. Everything's going on. We have no entertainment. We're freaking out. They're like, all right, we got to do something to occupy these peons. And by peons, I'm talking about me and you. We're peons. They're like, all right, bam, let's send a submarine down there and blow that bitty up. Yeah, that'll occupy them for like 95 days. In about 90 days, college football will start, and they'll be back to clamoring about that stupid sport. They're trying to distract us, man. I'm telling you, you got to wake up and smell the roses or smell the flowers, however that saying goes. I'm going to end this off here because if I talk about this anymore, they might show up to my house in about five or six minutes. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. All right, everybody.